I reckon he's a really good priest and he's probably even a better fighter. David Smith is a cool dude. Being someone so gentle at one point and then doing something so violent at another point is really weird. In the beginning, there was David Smith, the Anglican priest. He became a kickboxer. Imagine your local priest loosening his white clerical collar and laying into one of his flock kickboxing. Ridiculous, huh? Fighting Father Dave Smith. From Dulwich Hill in Sydney's southwest. The beauty about boxing is like chess, except the piece you're playing with is your own body. That's got integrity for me. Two weeks ago, the 32-year-old Anglican priest challenged any of the locals in his Dulwich Hill, Marrickville parish in Sydney to fight him. The catch being, if they lose, they come to church. I think I've been given particular gifts and maybe a particular degree of empathy to walk, working with problem kids because I was a problem kid. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, a problem kid six, who can relate seven, to other eight, problem kids. Nine, and seven, Dulwich Hill eight, has its fair share. Juvenile crime, high unemployment, broken families. But I reckon it's good if um, people can come here pretty much every day and train. Because that's what you need to do if you're on the heroin or other drugs. You can't just sit there. You've got to get out and get your mind off it. Take control. Sort of my nose back on yeah, the other side. That's right. Okay. It's always possible, isn't it? Yeah. You know? Kids who are fighting in the ring are not fighting in the streets. I think we want to teach young men, don't deny your aggressive instincts. They're there for a purpose, a good purpose. You know, who loses or draws is not the issue, but show that you've got the courage to stay on your feet and, and the focus to be able to try and defend yourself for three rounds. It's brilliant. If you can do that, hey, you can do anything. Faith, fellowship, fitness, that uh, basically sums it up. And something on the back too? Something on the back. I mean, I think there's a lot of benefits involved at a personal, spiritual level. The courage, um, self-discipline, integrity I mean I think there's a very personal thing I think it can be a tremendous thing for people um, young people perhaps especially who've got a lot of energy to let out watch the left elbow flick it up Rocky Gaby is a regular at the Dulwich Hill Holy Trinity Fitness Centre this neighborhood in Sydney's inner west was known as one of the toughest Rocky stayed on the straight and narrow thanks to initiatives like Father Dave's Fight Club just trying to get better, even if they're not wanting to be fighters, you know, just to get the confidence up, you know, in, just, in everyday life. Here, guys and girls of any age or fitness level can come in and learn a thing or two about boxing. Father Dave's even happy to put anyone through their paces in the ring. Again, too slow, you've got to jump on me. As soon Do you as I'm have hurt, I want you to jump the on me. instinct, I mean, what fighters would call the killer instinct? I don't know if it's a killer instinct, I think it's more that he's fit and he knows how to fight, you know, so it's not so much. I don't think he ever wants to kill the opponent, he just wants to fight a good fight. But Father Dave didn't want to disappoint his loyal and vocal fans who paid to see him fight. So he took on a champ anyway, in an exhibition bout. In the red corner, Father Dave. Congratulations, well done. The Lord is my shepherd, that's the psalm for this week. I think, okay, it's great, but I mean, bloody, I know nothing about shepherds, you know what I mean? Hey, I grew up in Newtown. As a teenager, he was singing in a punk band, and he admits, a rebel without a clue. The Bible says you fight the good fight, you get in there, you fight, you stand. Church exists to do three things, in my opinion. Worshipping Christ, building community, and serving the needy. If you can't do that, I think you're essentially failing to be a church. A lot of churches just become like middle-class golf clubs, which is so far from, from where Jesus is at. I mean, what's Jesus doing in the first century? He's out there upsetting people left, right and centre and getting himself killed. If you go around telling people to be nice to one another, you don't get yourself killed. You know, you get yourself invited to speak at the Rotary Dinner or something like that. My casual licence has been extended to the end of 2002. At the end of that time, I'm not expecting my license to be renewed any further. I expect that my opportunities within the Anglican Church will be over. And this is the Holy Trinity Church, Jim. I think what we're doing is we're giving our kids a creative channel for their aggressive energy, which is so often comes out in destructive forms of, you know, abusive male violence. 
But on an even more basic level, it often seems like Father Dave is offering himself up as a human punching bag to help his flock exercise their anger. What am I expecting? out. Have any of you ever delivered what you would consider to be a five-star, bell-ringing, road to Damascus, hallelujah, show-stopping <laughs> sermon? Have you ever had that moment? God works in funny ways. I suspect that's the experience across the board. You must use that line so often. <laughs> yes, exactly. Let's get down to business. I don't have no time to play around. What is this? Must be a circus in town. Push out this thing down. All these clowns. Can I get a witness? church in its best order, Anglicanism of the reformers, from Henry VIII and his young daughter, Tyndall and Cramer, bled and burnt for her. How often do you read the Bible? Every day? Pretty much. I mean, it's an occupational hazard. Yeah. You know, yeah. Do you guys know it well, do you think? I hope so. If not, yeah. if not now, when? This yeah. is a setup. It is, actually. <laughs> It is. But you lose so many friends along the way, they get deported or departed or sent to Long Bay. But the Lord keeps animal people to the team, including monks and shakes and everyone in between. Yeah, why a fight club? Why not a chess club? Yeah, the problem is chess hasn't got a lot of street cred. In fact, we've got three Australia's greatest champions here. Big Soul, Little Soul, Big George, Nader, <laughs> the contender. Oh. Life, my elbows are in and ready to go. You could actually like them actually kill me. All my fighting career I've managed to stay pretty. That's what I'm hoping for today. I've actually never boxed in my life. Members of the public were encouraged to throw their hat and their fists. Uh, yeah. Is that a world record? I'm setting a new world record. Yeah, official Guinness record. For competing in the highest number of continuous boxing rounds. I think for over 20 years, we've been done a chill. Motivation for the Boxathon is raising money for the church's drop-in centre. It is, I, I can preach and I can punch and no one's paying me for the sermons. Have you ever been in a situation where you weren't sure which of those two options to go with? <laughs> That's a potential to bring out the best in people. I know it sounds strange. Great guy for the kids and definitely um, a positive problem. Well, Dave, I bet nobody falls asleep in your sermon. Great to chat to you tonight and uh, well done. Thank you, sister. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank okay. you. Okay. Is that how it works? That's how it works. <laughs> I think it's better going. You know, I think that can, you know, you can, you got gas and take, you get an old car across the line, can't you? That's where, for me, I've got to be there, hands up, in a sense. See those things coming at me, slip to the side, throw a hook back. <laughs>